Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Zood Files episode number two. We're talking about directed energy weapons today. So, uh, yeah. Zood Files. It's a fucking wild ride because you're about to learn this. Uh, Zood Files. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is much more difficult than I thought. Shut up, Bobby. All right. Shut up, Bobby. No, 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 we're jamming no, out no, here. No, 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 run it back. Run it back. <laughs> I'll just turn you guys down and post. It's good. Um, Zood um, Files. <laughs> Zood files. Uh, from another dimension. <laughs> from another dimension. Come and throw with the sick intention. Hey, the boys, the kid is not. Something like that. Today, uh, <laughs> got a little carried away there. Sorry. We're trying. We're, a day. <laughs> we're, we're running ideas for the Zood we're, files theme. We're song. trying different. Let us know what yeah. you think. We're trying different things and we're smoking funny things. I oh so. absolutely. <laughs> anyway, yeah. kick it back off with this. Uh, sorry, so sorry, so sorry, so sorry. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> it's good. Uh, uh, welcome <laughs> to the Zood files episode number two today. We are talking about directed energy weapons, which some spooky, wavy, vibey shit going on. Oh okay. hell yeah! Uh, my name is Robert Ware. Yo. And to my right, we got. It's Adrian Grody, motherfucker, what to do for another another planet? Hell yeah. yeah, we got crispy grooves over here. That's me. It's Hello. your boy. Yeah, so back at right. it again. And if the Zood files, if you don't know, it's a weird show about the conspiracy shit and the paranormal shit, and we're going all going all going all Zudo scientific. We, 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 we talk yes. about you know yes. like we talk about all this stuff. You know, you, a lot of people go to school and they go to college, but you know they be lying though. Yeah, they so we be lying. talking yeah, about dude. you know they be watching the news. The news be lying, bro. Look at motherfuckers out here looking like Simba the way they be lying, bro. Simba and Nala <laughs> and Nala, bro. No hey. lie. We yeah. ain't lying. We the so, Zoods. Yeah, in the interest of not lying to you, there's going to be a lot of probablys and maybes thrown in, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. into sentences today. So hang yeah. out for that. Um, <laughs> yeah, as usual, this is all fucking Zudo science. So yeah. don't take it too seriously. Zudo science. TM. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Jinx. We're on the wavelength, bro. We zapped ourselves with uh, some death rays, bro. Like I said, we're smoking funny things to get on the same wavelength, mm. to be in the synchronicity. The Zoods have a, a trio uh, hive mind going going on bro collective subconscious we talked about this last episode yeah. with the dream spelunking right, right, right. but uh we talking about death rays today motherfucker we talking about laser beams pass me the laser beam bro pass, me the, laser. pass me the laser beam wipe off the wicked them clean um <laughs> you know the, the so. ganja protects you from the uh from the laser beam hey, cannot hurt your brain y'all ever seen major laser have no fear of atomic energy ah uh, bro i should have fucking bro, if you just like don't believe in directed energy weapons they can't harm that's you, bro. true right, that's just, right. It's just like depression that's why they'd be lying, bro. They'd be lying. I don't about believe them. in lasers. Okay. Bro, I should have included Major Laser on here, bro. Y'all ever seen Major Laser, the fucking the, the cartoon? The DJ? The or DJ, the, the, oh, yeah, the yeah, DJ, yeah, yeah. the cartoon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Major Laser, the DJ, the cartoon. God damn it. I should have included him on here. It's okay. It's all good. Anyways, so yeah, energy directed straight out of comic books, bro. Got the straight super villain weapons. Yeah. Bobby, break it down. Educate he, us. He looked like Spider Man without the spider. He looked like Spider Man, but yeah, like what's going smooth. on with homie there? Yeah, let's let's, <laughs> wait, wait, let's, let's talk about the fit real quick. Let's rate, <laughs> rate this fit real quick. Let's, let's rate this fool's fit real quick. Hold up. First of all, <sighs> what is what is this? Okay, uh, so <laughs> lose the gloves, and you know what? Actually, he might just be horribly mutated, and that's why he got to dress like that. So maybe I'm being inconsiderate. He reminds me of he got Man Ray. Death Ray, bro. He does look like Man Ray. He's like like Man Ray. Damn it! I should include a Man Ray too. Is this a movie? Is, uh, it's this? a it's a comic. It's a oh, it's nice. an indie the comic. Uh, it's but a move. It, yeah, it's like it's it is a move. No, it's like a <laughs> it's like a hella scum indie comic. That's like it's supposed to be pretty good. I haven't read it actually. I went to the comic book shop to look for it earlier, but couldn't find it. It's too indie. But this isn't a comic book. This is real life. No, this is real life. Yes, so that's what I was saying. It's straight yeah. out of a comic book. Right. The kind of shit they be pulling these days. Yeah. We living in the future, son. We said it before. I'll say it again. It's a scary time to be alive. <laughs> they can get into your dreams. They can get into your brain. They can zap you through your phone. It's horrible. It's pretty I'm fucking scared. terrible. I'm you know scared. What? You know go. what? They're killing your sperm cells. They're just every time you get a text message. Thousands of little babies are fucking dying, and you're just collapsing potential realities. That and where are the Christians? Where are the Christians? Where are the Christians the to back us happy. up about this? You know, what I mean, where are the Christians? <laughs> yeah, you know the Zudo, so, the Zodeo Christians. Hey, if you're pro-life, you really should get rid of your cell phone. That's yeah, the argument. Yeah, for real, right? you mm. should be anti-phone. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying. Let's see. The five G race. Yeah, they're coming for you. Is that are. included in that? 
No. All right, let's okay. Today we're not talking about 5G at all, actually. Okay. Um, uh, we're we'll get about, to that. We're talking yeah. about erection energy rays, right? Is erection that energy um, rays? Erection yeah. energy oh, rays? Man. I got a few of those. <laughs> 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 okay, so uh, this is a little snippet from Wikipedia. This oh, is yeah. literally the first Google, uh, Google result that you will find if you search for directed energy weapons. Oh, yeah. It says, a directed energy weapon, also known as a DO, a D-E-W, is a ranged weapon that damages its target with highly focused energy without a solid projectile, including lasers, microwaves, particle beams, and sound beams, which all of those things are real things if this sounded like science fiction to you. Mm. Potential applications of this technology include weapons that target personnel, personnels, personnels, yeah, personal <laughs> missiles, personnel and missiles, <laughs> vehicle and optic <laughs> devices. You got it, Bobby. I yeah. believe in you. <laughs> I smoked a little weed, so my, my vision's kind of like... It's, it's, it's kind of far there. back there, too. So yeah. 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 Okay. We all need glasses. We need a consistent setup, too. We're old. <laughs> TV's always in a different spot. Right, I know. We're all looking all it's like... It's because we've been b been blasted with laser death rays for our whole fucking life, and you wonder why you can't see, and you wonder why you can't get it up, and you wonder why... Wait, no. <laughs> see, little did Microwaves you know... Microwaves have ruined my life. Look at all these fucking microwave burritos I ate. <laughs> Part of the reason that we're even making this episode is about the, the sort of idea that a directed energy weapon network could exist and suppress the fact that you're talking about directed energy weapons. So it's like, Fuck. it's as meta as you can fucking get with something. It's not a thought, yeah. anything but like directed energy. Isn't that kind of crazy? Like just think about something that's wow. directly, like, like I'm directing energy at Christian right now by getting real hostile and having just oh. this inflection in my voice. Here. Oh, you're getting real uncomfortable, aren't you? Huh? I don't like I don't, the uh, you know, tone yeah, you're taking. Yeah, you don't me. like the tone you're taking. That's the directed like the energy, hey, you know? Sticks and stones, right. sticks and stones. Yeah, yeah, Come no, on. that's that time. <laughs> See what I'm saying? I didn't even okay. say anything mean. So, you still got scared. <laughs> it's because I'm Mexican. So He got terrified. He's like, well, hold on. Listen up, Amingo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so directed energy, uh just, yeah, so I was directing some energy there. I didn't uh, I didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, about, I hate the rest of this shit. Okay, but <laughs> I like I like what you said though, Bobby. You said that direct energy weapons, they can be blasting you with direct energy weapons to make you so stupid that you can't even comprehend direct energy mm -hmm. weapons, which is probably what's happened to us, but we're going to give it a good old college try Ooh. anyways. <laughs> we're going to try to yeah. direct our energy towards this serious problem. Hey, hey hold up, bro. I just want to say, though, bro, we understand it, bro, because we know all about how, like, you know, astrology and, like, crystal work works, you know, and it's all just about, like, vibrations, bro, and different vibrations, you know? And In you have way, to just, yeah, like, yeah. really, like, feel the vibration vibrations you know and like so if i could comprehend crystal vibrations i can really comprehend the direct uh, energy situation <laughs> going on here i don't like the way you're directing your energy at the salt rock right now right, i'm just gonna keep it keep over it. here then fine. i feel right. like i shouldn't touch that anymore <laughs> <laughs> look bro i'm just feeling trying to feel safe from the fucking from the lasers. Hey, if you're being targeted, <laughs> right, who knows? It, may, right, it might be like a tinfoil hat. It's my spiritual protection, okay? Leave me alone. It's my religion. Like With I said, if you don't believe in directed energy weapons, they can't harm you, bro. Just, just yeah, stop Yeah, believing. just don't believe them. Just don't block them. a bullet, bro. Dude, let's go. Just yeah, just like pull out times. a gun and shoot me with it, bro. <laughs> we'll save that for the next episode. <laughs> so, <laughs> All right. In the United States, the Pentagon, DARPA, and the Air Force Research Laboratory, and the United States Army Armament Research Development and Engineering Center, and... And the Naval Research Laboratory are uh, researching directed energy weapons to counter ballistic missiles, hypersonic cruise missiles, and hypersonic glide vehicles, which I'm assuming they're referring to some kind of drone. Hypersonic glide vehicles? Is that like the Green Goblin? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Green I, goblins. I was uh, too, it's probably like the fucking. That's probably like a. They got like Tesla planes. You feel me? Like probably. You know what I mean? So like, Tesla. if it's like a Tesla plane, it's like not like you know. There's no gas or motor or whatever. They're just up there like zooming, bro. It's just got like a like a solar panel too. So just like you know, you're high up in the altitude, and so they said we can't shoot a rocket up there because everybody will see. So we're gonna get the fucking the the wave ray. I'm gonna be like. And like fucking shoot it at the sky that way. That's what I think they're talking about there. Oh, so yeah. okay. Oh, so yeah. so like the official narrative of what these directed energy weapons are. It's like I guess they've been around for decades at this point. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. lasers and microwaves. Yep. They've been as we're about to find thing. out. It's a very long time. And yeah. so their reasoning for developing these weapons. You know, the government's reasoning is that we're going to use these to like, you know, counteract a, a nuke. Mm. or like a missile that's coming so it's for it. it's for national defense all right i gotta cross one of my uh, one of my rebuttals off the list already <laughs> 
appeal to a national security threat. Ah, right? yeah. There we go. That's true. Well, that's the so, oldest trick in the book. Yeah, it's one of those things where it only makes more sense for the government to essentially have a, a like a pretty big handle on these things because it, it basically comes down to like an invisible arms race at the end of the day. Right. So definitely, I think this was like the next the next like natural extension of like. Um, you know, like arms races, like because nobody wants to use the nuke. You know, because it's like you could go big, you could go big nukes. They got big nukes, but they're like we can't realistically use big nukes. So what can we realistically use to fuck with each other? And like if we're talking like espionage, secret mm. weapons, you know, um, we're gonna be running around with shit that like again, like we'll like fuck with somebody's like internal organs or fuck with their blood flow or even fuck with just their technology. You know, jam their computers mm. and stuff like that. Send out a little EMP, shut down people's fucking you know, shut down a power grid for a little while or something. You know, if it came down to it because yeah. you know uh fifth generational warfare yeah <laughs> you know i mean like it's shit. all uh yeah exactly because you know it's, it's spooky and you know i'll say like all this like espionage shit i mean it's cool but it just doesn't make for as good of video games as like world war ii you know oh <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't. Just, that was really the peak of it was war, epic of fools <laughs> shooting each other in the face and I just think, stabbing each other in the asshole with bayonets i think even as much Let's as get back i to know that. like <laughs> i still have this romanticized fucking image of world war ii in my head it, where it i was fuck good, with the game so hard like, except for like how the united states ended it yeah but I mean, uh you know well, that was when they brought in the nukes but for the most part i mean i guess there's a lot of gas and stuff well too, i was but, gonna say you know that actually more people died in the firebombing of Dresden oh, yeah. and of Tokyo than uh, mm -hmm. both the nukes put together. Fucking sure. more people died individually Damn. in both of those incidences than both the nukes together. Uh, World War II is a trip, and again, that's you know, it's it's kind of referred to as you know, it is a global atrocity. Nobody was a good guy. Of course, America paints it like we're a good guy, and then we're like, oh, but we don't want to have to do that again. So we're gonna build the death ray here. We're gonna right. build the laser ray, so that way we could just make them all gay. Yeah, it's right, always right. the justification <laughs> the for the greater oh, good. We should have included the gay bomb. They were trying to work on a gay bomb for a long time, bro. They were trying to legit like make Jesus. a yeah. They were for real, like for a long time, huh. trying to work on a gay bomb to make enemies gay with each other, <laughs> like yeah. a lip bomb, like so. like a bomb, <laughs> like, like a gas, like a, like, like a one of one of the ways they were describing is through like sound beams, right? So mm -hmm. if you could just project into somebody's inner ear, like a voice that's just saying, "Hey, suck that dick, <laughs> suck that dick," they just they just, like, uh, they just you uh, start to question the invasive. Well, like, they, where they, they fucking come, where they they intrusive from? thoughts win. Yeah. <laughs> they just they just put a playlist on that like on the vibration thing there, and they're just it's just like "Let's Get Loud" by J Lo yeah. and like "A Barbie Girl" by Aqua. And, like, like uh, it's like all the gay anthems, you know, just slapping on the battlefield. That and also then, happened to be CIA torture songs, mm -hmm, and like the no all the North Koreans are like, ah, like and, then, yeah. and then they're like just like crying. Tears. Dude, that's they're, crazy. They're like crying tears as they're just like blowing each other. That'd be crazy. <laughs> That'd just, be like, crazy if they could just like <laughs> infiltrate your mind. Like they could just blast songs or thoughts, mm -hmm. and you're just like, and they're I like, can't stop hearing share. Uh, dude, there's, there's, it's actually technology uh, that is commercialized at this point. Um, like it, all you have to do is tickle the inner ear through a little like stimulation. Mm. It's it's not that difficult. It's one of the it's easiest. Called milking. Yes. <laughs> It's one of the easiest directed <laughs> energy weapons to put into practice, but like it doesn't have the physical, you know, like consequences. It's all psychological because you're just fucking with people by saying shit in their head. Like, you know, it kind of it's so crazy, too, because like it's like you were saying, too, that they might be using directed energy weapons to make you so stupid that you don't even think about energy directed mm. weapons. And it's like, think about like how strong like satellites that broadcast like fucking TV and shit are, you know what I mean? They could be broadcasting yeah, that shit all across the fucking, you know, every which way, however they want. And since it's all a frequency, you know, you could ever be like, eh, my fucking computer's making a weird sound. What the fuck? Ah, you know, like, or like, you mm. know, like, I don't know, you know, like, it's just so crazy. Like, it, it could just happen really easily if they wanted to do something like this. The apparatus is there for them to do something. Because so, yep. imagine something like that. Like, you remember when, like, the president tweeted out fucking Kofefe or whatever? Oh, or whatever? Yeah. And, like, it's like, or like, no, not that one. There was, like, a, uh, no, not that, actually. There was, like, a crazy, like, missiles test one time, actually, that, like, got sent out to everybody. Oh, in Hawaii? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I remember, I remember that. that. Yeah. And so it's, like, something like that, like, you know, just think of, like, they probably got it all in. I'm surprised it didn't happen with coronavirus. I mean, it kind of did, but, like, you know, where it's, like, just, like, like everything gets like shut into like high alert mode, you know, and like all like I don't know, never mind. But like basically electronic apparatus, they could really go crazy with this kind of technology, you know, basically as well as getting at weed. 
It, yeah. it, it makes you dumb. So yeah, that's always a good tactic is just smoke a bunch of pot right before. Because we can't smoke on the podcast now, so <laughs> no. we just have to get obliterated Eventually. before. But it's okay because we'll we're caffeinated too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, hyped up. I feel good. So, I feel direct good. energy weapons. Dues. Dues. Dewey, yeah. explain the problem with the dues. Explain the problem, with, explain the well, problem with the Dewey there, real quick. There's a few different problems <laughs> The here. Dewey decimal system. They say... You know, on, on the Wikipedia, these systems of missile defense are expected to come online no sooner than the mid to late 2020s, which mm. we're, we're a little, you know, ahead of schedule, if that's the case. Um, but here's the thing, as we're about to get into, this stuff has been around for like four or five decades, right. you know, easily. So the way or I think longer, about yeah. 50s, um, 60s, yeah. yeah, the way I think about it is if the military has been studying a technology for like 60 years, they've been almost certainly using it on the public before they eventually, you know, have the acceptable public facing rollout of the technology. Like, I don't know, right. mass surveillance on the United States, that kind of thing. Yeah. I, maybe like eventually they're going to like, like, cause when you, when you introduce a concept that is this crazy to people, like you don't want to, like, if you're the government, you don't want to just tell people that you're making energy weapons. You have yeah, to like, re like release some like product or something that gets people into the idea of it or like use it for fun be, where it's just like you know how like in the 2000s there's like those like spy toys or whatever yeah 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 and yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. and it's like <laughs> annoy your sister with this weird you know with like the mosquito tone or whatever like spy kids yeah. it's kind of spy kids yeah. true <laughs> <laughs> yeah they well they're hiding the energy weapons they're hiding the thumb people too oh my <laughs> god bro the thumb people joe rogan it's the human human <laughs> that's why they want to suppress them bro because exactly. joe rogan's part of the thumb people <laughs> but uh, they, yeah they're saying this stuff is supposed to come online no sooner than the mid to late 2020s but i mean the lrad which is the most you know well known i think directed energy weapon in the united states mm. there's even a popular knife party song named after it has Ooh, been yeah. used on civilians uh since 2014 is it, it's a pretty big chunker. Wait, the fuck is, that is it L Rad Hubbard, bro? That's like the <laughs> radical version, bro. Like the skateboarder version, bro. Is he involved with this? Is, I don't think so. Don't think Although so. I'm Maybe. sure he would fuck with this. Yeah, I was gonna heavy. say. Are you sure this isn't an off branch of Dianetics? Do you think Dianetics are involved with this on the back end, bro? I'm having no evidence for this. I'm just saying. Yeah. I think there's one or two Scientologists who've worked on directed energy weapons. No mm. evidence for that whatsoever. But do you think that that's possible? I think so. I think possible. They got yeah. money, bro. They're just like how Tom Cruise is trying to direct his. energy energy away from cock <laughs> <laughs> all right let's, all right <laughs> before we let's let's get let's get at least the basic minimal amount of information before we make any more oh, no, wild what, speculations what's about your uh, no go, go what was that one called again the uh, the yeah. l rad what's about yeah, the l rad the l rad laser beam that's the death ray is this the titular death ray it's the titular Tip. death ray essentially although it does not cause death and you can't really see the ray Black. Uh, that's the we, thing with directed energy weapons. It's kind of just like invisible. floating through the ether. It's, uh, it's yeah. They're just like, I'm tickling your balls. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. What if, that was, what if that is what that feeling is? Like, you just get a tingling in your balls someday, and then there's like a fed, like, <laughs> off in the corner somewhere. Just be like, we got him. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is the new, uh, the new uh, what's it called? Uh, eugenics is they just laser beam your balls from a distance. Mm, they just snipe you, right. just like, another one down. <laughs> We call it Dugenics, D E W Genics. Hey, I wouldn't no? be surprised, man. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh Lord, maybe not on this scale, but okay. So, All right. so history the lesson. Signal. We're taking it back. This is one of the uh, one of the sort of like origins of the sort of modern Havana syndrome, which we're going to talk about right after this. But the Moscow signal, uh, yeah, the Moscow signal was a reported microwave transmission varying between two point five and four gigahertz directed at the Embassy of the United States in uh -oh. Moscow from 1953 to 1976, mm. which is, you know, that's 23, that's uh, a long 23 time. years. It's a long time. Me. Resulting in an international incident, the U.S. government eventually determined it was probably an attempt at espionage. There we go. There's our first probably. Espionage. And that there were no significant health effects on embassy staff, although this conclusion has been disputed wait so they're saying on, only the americans got sick in that building they all walk in they're just like why can't i stop <laughs> shitting myself fuck like, <laughs> and like one of them shitting yeah. themselves and one of them's nutting themselves so it's like i can't go meet with fucking gorbachev like this <laughs> <laughs> no it was uh wait was it no it's not gorbachev it's fucking I can't remember. Whatever it was, Kennedy was Kennedy was talking to him. Kennedy just cummed himself every time he went to <laughs> Moscow. 
He's like, how hey, am I going to take... Anytime he goes anywhere, to be honest. He's right? like, how are we going to take down the Berlin Wall when the my rectal wall has already been destroyed <laughs> by lasers? <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. The Wailing Wall. Fucking imagine it's like, you, imagine they like blast you and you start like, you're like, fuck, I'm so hot. It's so hot. And then you got to run outside, but you're like 100 degrees, but it's like fucking freezing out there. So you like dive in the snow and then you die from frostbite because <laughs> they blasted you That'd and you crazy. like raised your body heat too high. Oh my god! Um, did they say anything about what like happened to the people here? Like, because Havana syndrome was so re- oh, here we go, perfect, yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, we Let's keep, keep it wrong, keep All it wrong. Right. The name Moscow signal was used by United States intelligence officials to describe the lower the low power signals recorded in the embassy. The microwave transmissions were only five microwatts per square centimeter, which is far mm. below the irradiance within a microwave oven and oh. well below what, what would be needed to heat anything. However, these signals were 100 times more powerful than the Soviet Union's maximum exposure standards, mm. which caused concern among U.S. officials. The microwave beam came from a source in an apartment building about 100 meters Whoa. east of the 10-floor <laughs> embassy building. The beams targeted the east side of the building with highest intensities between the third and eighth floors. During routine background radiation testing in 1953, the microwaves were detected and sourced to suspected Soviet forces. 11 years later, shielding against the microwaves was eventually put into place. During regulator, mm. uh, regular monitoring of the signal, the beams were found to have increased in intensity in 1975, and the discovery of these microwaves was not acknowledged to the public or many of their own embassy personnel until February of, of 1976. Course. So they kept it under wraps for wow. over 20 years. That's crazy, bro. So they kept getting blasted with lasers, and they're like, what the hell is this? So they eventually, the in the U.S. embassy, like the Americans like yep. put up well, like shielding against it. Yeah. Interesting. Bro, exactly. Tin foil hats. And of course, the CIA say. is like, yeah, it's probably espionage. Probably espionage. They're yeah. like, we were doing the same thing. Yeah. So. Like, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, I've, they're like, I may or may not have seen this before, and uh, someone's creeping. Yeah. Happens. I, He's like, happens, <laughs> happens. Put a little tin foil up. We good. I think uh, we've seen many times that when uh, the FBI and the CIA are hesitant to talk about something, it's because they've been highly culpable. They've been doing it. They've been doing that shit. Or, yeah, they're yeah. involved too. So um, there are many possible reasons the Soviet Union would have for directing the microwave transmissions at the United States Embassy. Among these possibilities is the most likely theory that the microwave transmissions were used to trigger eavesdropping technology on U.S. intelligence operations. Other theories include electronic jamming and a popular, although unproven, school of thought that the technology was used to interfere with health, minds, or the behavior of the American embassy staff. Mm. And as we're going to learn later, which I keep saying, uh, the school of thought that technology can be used to uh, interfere with your health, your mind, or your behavior uh, being unproven or like somehow not credible is complete nonsense. Kind of seems like this Wikipedia edit yeah. was a little low, was a little salty of something. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, yeah. no, think it's about- Wikipedia, bro. <laughs> Motherfuckers go on there going ham. Yeah. Now, um, these are lasers in an embassy, but think about the other, what's the other number one place you can think of where there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of lasers and there's a lot of crazy sounds that influences the minds and bodies of many people. And a lot of bussy. <laughs> raves? We're talking about raves. Hey. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say, yeah, could you really deny um, that raves are influencing the behavior of, of the young people? Especially oh, people young and old. Especially when the DJ is dropping the song El Rad by Knife Party. Oh, and, shit, bro. Yeah. Or there's like that other song where it's like, laser, laser. Ray Volpe, fucking Volpe? Volpe? I don't know. Ray Think about that. Bro, Laser beam. I said there's that going on, and then at the same time too, it's like on Devil Man Cry, baby, bro. Which is uh, uh, Rays are like the new like witches Sabbath. You know, everybody's all on drugs and they're all half naked. They're like, yeah, yeah, and yeah. they're like fucking. And then you get the lasers going on. They're all like, get hornier, <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's all like, I will, okay, you know. It's that like, is what it is, bro. We are at that level <laughs> of, of I mean, music. You feel me, like, dude? That's if true, some, dude. If there was literally you're at a rave and like the fucking drop. Right before it drops, it's just like get hornier. Everybody <laughs> would be like, "Yes, yeah, let's, like, let's go!" Yeah. Like, like I'm down to make that track now. <laughs> oh, bro, that's a direct energy weapon right just there. It's called "Get Hornier." That's the well, new single by Zeus. Because imagine, well, wait, I'm okay. down. I'm so down to do this. <laughs> well, imagine when you're at a rave. There's all these different sounds going on, and like everybody's being affected by it. 
at the same time. But nobody's really judging each other because it's like at a rave, you know. Yeah, Everybody's yeah. acting horny and crazy and wearing fucking little, you know, tape on their titties mm -hmm. or whatever. <laughs> but when it's just one person in a U.S. embassy in Russia, and they're just like, <laughs> yeah. they're like, sticks, they're like ah, why the fuck is this so hot in here? I can't, you know, <laughs> bro. I'm what's the name of the fucking scientist dude from Archer? Like that's oh, such a vibe. Krieger, Krieger yeah. bro. He would like, such 100 a do that. Dude, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine someone just starts. Sounds, you know, well, they're just, just fucking with him too, and so he goes into like the meeting, and he's just bricked up, and, like just. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, oh, oh, nice to meet you, Mr. Gorbachev. <laughs> That'd be crazy, yeah. Oh, well, god. because wasn't there something else about that? About like some kind of like spy weapon that like you point a laser at someone it just makes them jizz <laughs> oh yeah okay okay so is related to this topic yeah i sent the the this is like this sci-fi dystopian like content creator <laughs> who makes make these reels okay, right yeah. where it's like the cum button basically but this is actually based on like a real study that was done <laughs> where you can literally just like inject you know somebody oh, with like a directed yeah, energy yeah, yeah, weapon you sent that to the group yeah chat, right? yeah dude no that meme. was like a fire piece of like sci-fi like because it's, it's, it's like, not even sci. well i mean yeah i mean yeah but still it's yeah, yeah i get what you're saying but it's real it's like literally real so the cum button is a real technology that was <laughs> tested like on people and yeah, it works. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. Really? I mean, it's like yeah. if you could like technologically like recreate like I mean, because it becomes better than a cum button. It'll be like a H button. You feel me? After We're a point, like, you know, you're just like, oh, God. like it's like tap out. Yeah, yeah. You just gotta tap out, drop in, go to Ready Player One World, and uh, call it a day. Call it a life. Fuck some it. some may say that there already is a cum button, and it's also known as the prostate. But we're talking about a <laughs> different. <laughs> Hey, oh, okay. Well, there's no women that well, watch the show anyway. Hey, um, no, okay. I'm not. Yeah, prostate. No, what am I, pro state, dude? I'm anti state. <laughs> well, for every prostate, there is an anti state. It's True. just, it's just the anti matter version of your prostate. Sure. It was funnier in my head. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, what do we got here? Right. Uh, the Havana Syndrome. Uh, Havana right? Unana. Ooh, the 2016 version. <sighs> I, this is We're so dude, serious. This dude. is when the, the... I feel like 2016, bro, was such a, like, fucking pivotal... I mean, obviously, because there was the Trump and Hillary election. Iconic. But I don't know, bro. I feel like the 2016 was, like, the start of, like, a new arc, bro. Like, yeah. in, in, like, the whole conspiracy, the whole... Oh, absolutely. Uh, the dude, whole, it kicked uh, off political, everything Like, the me. World War Three arc, bro, has yeah. just... I feel like that's when the World War Three like, prelude to World War Three started in 2016. Yeah. It started when China sent over that goddamn fentanyl... <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'd like to think that the Havana syndrome or the Havana syndrome, mm -hmm. uh, as compared to the Moscow signal, is kind of like the monkeypox to AIDS relationship. <laughs> where it's like one set the standard, like, and this is just the new kid on the block. To, mm. to, to quote George Lucas, it's like poetry, it rhymes. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> okay. The Biden administration plans to pay some diplomats and intelligence officers roughly 100000 to 200000 each to compensate mm -hmm. for the mysterious health problems known as Havana Syndrome, according to congressional aides Whoa. and a former official familiar with the matter. Hey, I just want to say, these cheap motherfuckers aren't kicking down on nothing. So you know if they're paying these fools fucking 100000 200000 and you know that's low ball. You know they're getting right. another yeah. fucking additional 200000 underneath for the NDA mm -hmm. to say, I did, you know, to what, cover up whatever really fucking happened. But um, even if you look at it the other way, 100000 to $200,000 each to compensate for a health concern that they've had over directed energy weapons. That's a lot of money. Either I way, think we got to move the I think Cuba, their insurance dude. policies probably got <laughs> it under control, but this is definitely kind of like, it feels like a hush money type thing. Big yeah. time. Uh, so despite uh, six years of investigations, the United States still lacks certainty about what is causing the symptoms, which include headaches, vision problems, dizziness, and brain fog, among other ailments. It's the health lit. problems were first reported among U.S. diplomats and intelligence officers serving in Cuba's capital, but have since reported on every continent except Antarctica. Stop the Wait. cap. You know there's a whole fucking energy-directed dome over Antarctica, bro. Stop the cap. Stop the fucking Antarctica's cap, not real. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want you to know about the ice wall, bro. <laughs> the fucking ice wall. <laughs> Oh God! Wow. Flat Earth is a directed energy weapon. Yeah. That's that. We'll get to that. We'll do a flat Earth episode. <laughs> oh, we're getting there. Fat Earth. Fat Earth. 
Let's go. It's like the opposite of Hollow Earth, where it's just pregnant Earth instead of Hollow Earth. I know. I Ooh, love where they're like, the hot. Earth isn't flat or round. It's thick. And it's like the <laughs> Earth is just like ass cheeks. You feel me? It's just like hey. a big, thick, juicy ass out in space. Hey, all I know is Hollow Earth Theory is the only like lore, if you will, out there to actually account for the fact that an Earth Ossie exists. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even the Tibetan monks knew all about the Earth Ossie, bro. They fucking, yeah. they went deep. They, they went deep, bro. I'm talking... <laughs> Deep. That's where the lizard people are from. Y'all think they're from the moon? They're not. Well, there's like the lizard people, and then there's like the 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 prehistoric Nazis. You know, like the they're like they're like super pale with blonde hair. That's what Hitler was doing a whole thing oh, about. Yeah, bro. That's like his whole thing, bro. Yeah, they're like a fucking subterranean whites, bro. Yeah. <laughs> sketch- I mean, it makes I'd sense. rather I'd rather from fuck Pleiades. with the lizard people than the subterranean whites, bro. <laughs> the subterranean whites is the, just like the average 4chan user. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're uh, Nazis too, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That actually makes a lot of sense. They're just getting back, back around, to their bro. roots. Yeah. Back to their roots of being fucking cave dwelling pieces of shit. Okay, <laughs> listen, we're getting a little, we're getting a little <laughs> off, off topic, topic here. here. All right. So basically, all these intelligence agencies are saying that there's no certainty in what's going on. Yeah. But the problem with the word certainty is that you can't spell certainty without taint oh. and the cia can lick my taint <laughs> let's go i thought you were gonna say cia because cia is in certainty too that's true that's so, a stretch. so the cia can certainly... i just wanted to say taint okay sorry moving on <laughs> not to steal your, <laughs> I'm, not to steal your I'm like i'm like stop derailing the podcast also <laughs> let me make also. a taint joke <laughs> <laughs> we're keeping it light we're keeping it fun because you know this is serious topics mm-hmm. and there's these people are well i mean this is the first problem is they work for the government so that's just what happens you know you got to be ready to be blasted by lasers by cuban lasers hey bro it's like you're talking about earlier bro the the gangster of cum bro they just be doing <laughs> drive-bys and making you come yourself hey, at important meetings that was an off to- that was an off-camera discussion <laughs> 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 Just a little oh, Steve Miller God. joke. <laughs> Steve Miller. <laughs> anyway, Jesus. Anyways, the CIA no. determined this winter that a foreign country is probably not behind a worldwide campaign. Probably not behind right. a worldwide campaign harming U.S. personnel with a weapon or mechanism. An assessment that raised doubts about years of speculation that the health issues were the result of a mysterious directed energy weapon wield- wielded by Russian or Chinese agents. Huh. So likely, likely, um, if they're gonna, you know, if they're gonna invest all this time into doing the research, they're gonna flex it on us if they can. The Russians and the Chinese. Oh, big time! Okay, wait, wait, wait. So I feel like we're just underestimating Cuba here because this is happening in Havana, right? That's what I'm saying too. And they're like, they're like, what? You think we can make our own? Oh, you think we can make our own energy weapons? Say hello to my little friends. Yeah, Yeah, they're just like, why do you think it's just the Russians and the Chinese that are making energy weapons? You think Cuba doesn't have the technology? I was saying. What, just because they have 60-year-old cars doesn't mean? I was saying, bro, they got a couple fucking super villain weapons left over from Stalin, bro, back in the day. You feel me? I think this kind of thing only further serves the argument that directed energy weapons are just common, like commonplace like far more commonplace than people think i do i feel like if russia in your pockets I'm not right now i feel like if russia and china got some i feel like probably like iran has some too i feel like there's other big okay. countries that well, like people are trying to kind of undermine probably took like, the idea from us think about yeah. it like people say the biggest threat to the united states is an emp over the country right, right. but i don't think china or Russia are stupid enough to literally put the entire world economy at a fucking standstill and mm. literally like shoot themselves in a foot. If they're going to take control, they're going to do it through means of deception and through, you know, like technology, like in- invisible arms, essentially. Yeah. So, right. Directed energy weapons, I think, are, are highly more sought after um, than, you know, just regular means of combat. Definitely. Hey, you Sorry. know what's crazy too, bro? Is uh, we were watching the boys. Minor spoilers for the boys, but there was the <laughs> char- spoilers. Minor, minor spoilers. Minor spoilers. No characters or names, but uh, just to talk about somebody's powers. One of the characters is a politician and had fucking the same kind of powers with the fucking energy rays, and it was all like the whole thing was like, oh my god, who's doing it? What is this? Who's doing this? And like they couldn't tell. They couldn't tell. Mm. And it's like there's one part where like 
on TV, hella people get their freaking heads blown up, yep. and it's just like hella people like keep and they never figured out who it was. Even the still, up, even still up to this date on the show, like they it didn't get revealed. Like the audience knows, but like the rest of the people of the show doesn't know. Mm. And it's like that's kind of crazy. That show's based because that's just that's kind of you know they use the superheroes and the superpowers as a metaphor for it. But that's what we're getting, you know. What I mean, yeah. with that yeah. kind of level of shit, you know. And obviously they're gonna be more sly about it and not just blow someone's brains out, but they can seriously disrupt. I mean, you make somebody have to shit their pants when they're testifying you could right. delay the whole trial find him after <laughs> stick up. Him, you know right. and then, then he's not there tomorrow to testify right. like because yep. if you could just like make it so that you're like this person's a threat but they're not like really that much of a threat yet yeah they're like why don't we just like give him cancer early before yeah. he becomes like a youtube famous or something yeah, yeah. But i just gotta say minor spoilers um jeffrey epstein and Ghislaine maxwell are minor spoilers Oh my god, I hate you. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> oh, <okay. Yeah. laughs> Jesus. Government investigators second, yeah. have reviewed more than a thousand cases, with the majority being attributed to a pre existing medical condition or environmental or other factors. Dozens of other reported cases remain unexplained. So as hmm. is, you know, as is the case with anything that becomes trendy to report like ufo sightings or like oh i was attacked by a directed energy weapon even though i'm a fucking nobody that smokes meth in my trailer yeah that kind of thing mm. people are seeking attention and there's bound to be an influx of just like fake reports right, right, fake cases right. people just That's seeking true. attention yeah everybody wishes that they were special enough to get abducted by a ufo or like had a <laughs> laser blasting at them exactly it's like no i think it is just the meth that's doing that it's, too. it's mostly that <laughs> That's some di directed energy, you feel yeah. me? Pre-existing conditions being uh, schizophrenia, <laughs> delusions of grandeur, mm, um, schizo lore, things like that. Yeah. So here we uh -oh. break the barrier between what constitutes schizo lore and what is is uh, cold hard fact, baby. This schizo we have the documents. Schizo yeah. canon, bro. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is a article a document um a journal if you will published by the naval medical research institute who i mentioned previously uh were specifically involved in the research of directed energy weapons and i do believe this is from 53 1953 okay um, but it's a collection of things that were published up to the year 1972 like that's like the range of dates right. So it's essentially a bibliography, just a massive collection of other like documents and studies, and uh, I kind of I kind of just pulled it uh, pulled out all the best bits here. So yeah, let's go. And um, so this is all like freedom of information yeah. stuff. Like so, this is just stuff from decades ago. It's been declassified. So this Pub is stuff yep. that this you can find out. Yes. Public documents. Yes. Right. So this public Foya, document. Foya .gov um, or whatever. We may even be the first person or the first you know uh, channel to review this document just Ooh. because there's so much freedom of information act shit that is available that. Has not been parsed whatsoever. Sorted, yeah. People have not even seen it. True. Um, let's go. So we'll find out on the motherfucking top off this Look, thing. Let's dude. fucking yeah, yeah, do yeah. it, bro. The or the dudes uh, look into Pandora's box. <laughs> Pandora's box of cocks. Oh. <laughs> they shoot lasers. More than 2,300 <laughs> references on the biological responses to radio frequency and microwave radiation published up to April 1972 are included in this bibliography of the world literature. Uh, particular attention has been paid to the effects on man of non-ionizing radiation at these frequencies. Now, that's very important because the main distinguisher that people try to use to discredit the existence of dis, uh, directed energy weapons is the validity of non-ionizing uh, non radiation versus ionizing radiation as a potential storm, source of biological harm to humans. So mm. this is all non-ionizing non radiation. Sorry, so. non-ionizing it doesn't. Wait. It doesn't fry it. Means it doesn't it's, cook. It doesn't, it. doesn't cook. Yeah. Like that's the that's the hardcore. Yeah, stuff. that's when you start right. getting like the blisters and like your shit turns yellow okay. and yeah. like sure. non ionizing like, You get cancer. You get yeah. cancer. Like that's like you know the shit you can't be like. It's like you will fucking start to die. Yeah, so this is this qualifies as like a radio frequency territory essentially. So the citations are arranged alphabetically by author and contain as much information as possible so as to assure effective retrieval of the original documents. Soviet and East European literature is included in detail. An outline of the effects which have been attributed to radio frequency and microwave radiation is included as chapter one. So Side effects may include... Oh, here we go. A, a heating of organs. B, changes in physiologic function. Striated muscle contraction. 
alteration of diam- uh, di- diam- di- diameter diameter <laughs> of blood vessels. They're fucking with me already. I can Dude, feel it. They're, they're, they're trying to stop us from making this podcast right it's now. So bad. Oh, altered, we're, like, hey, we're like, what's happening to our brains, bro, bro? Altered sensitivity to drug stimuli. The Molly's yes. gonna hit harder, bro, when they use the fucking directed energy oh. weapons at the oh. rave. Oh. Get hornier. <laughs> <laughs> Heating of organs. Get hornier. Oh, get and, hornier. And maybe laser beams. They're Russians. bound to get you hornier. And they figured out it's not bored. <laughs> that if you just make Americans what? dance all the time, they're fucking stupid and thinking about fucking and and they don't think about being blasted. I can, with, I can imagine that EDM was originally. Sorry, so hard, so sorry. I didn't mean to t- interrupt your phrase yeah. of the dick. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. I, I like where you're going with yeah, that. Yeah, no, what it like EDM oh, and shit was definitely like an extension of like all like the MK Ultra experiments, and they're like, oh, trance music, and we get this weird, crazy shit to get them in this weird, like, la la headspace, like, oh, yep, yep. and they're like, I can see the lizard people, and they're like, yeah. okay, we don't want them to see the lizard people. What's right before that? We just want them getting to get hornier. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Bro, you can't let them oh, get too Altered yeah. penal function. Oh, it yeah, gets yeah, you yeah, bricked yeah. up. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Change wait, wait, wait. Don't spoil it, dude. Sorry, we gotta sorry, go, sorry, in order. Right. go Go in order. Okay, okay. okay. So we got altered, altered sensitivity to drug stimuli. Decreased spermatogenesis, oh, which means bro. your sperm count goes down. Cream pies all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, they're doing one good thing altered for us. Altered menstrual least. activity and altered fetal development. Yo, <laughs> not good. Free borscht. Let's go. I see this as an absolute win. <laughs> I'm like, see, dude, I'm loving this so far. Increased lactation in nursing mothers. Hey, yo, yo, <laughs> yo. Wait, wait, like, a but wait, what if we can make more milk in them? Yo, milk. Do, do you think Abby Shapiro got blasted with this, bro? <laughs> she had enough to like. Donate to families in need, bro. Oh she was God. pumping it out, bro. Was that the whoa, fuck? Bessie? Wait, does that have something to do with the Jewish space lasers Marjorie Taylor Greene talked about? Oh my God, it's all adding up. She never actually said that. Bro. And, and <laughs> Chappelle talked about space juice. True. Space We're juice. putting the pieces together. Hey, I've played, I've played, I gotta Einstein. be honest I know with you. About it. I was ready to be like, "Fuck the government!" I can't believe they're doing this to us. But mm-hmm. everything they listed so far is not necessarily sounds pretty, bad. Sounds like it's gonna make well, me get hornier. <laughs> <laughs> we got the altered penal function hornier. next, of course. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, they could be giving you ED. Like they could be giving you limp dick, and you wouldn't even like. Oh uh, no, nah, that's yeah, no that's what's doing. Like it. every time you couldn't yeah, get it up, yeah. you're just like the goddamn. <laughs> man, yeah, yeah, bro. Every, every cuck in the world's like, this is why I like it this way. It was the it was the government. The government is why I'm a cuck. That's why I like watching. Because, anyways, uh, changes uh, so we- uh, in conditioned reflexes. Whoa. Uh, increased electrical resistance of the skin. Oh fuck yeah! Static shock, bro. <laughs> Altered blood this flow rate. Dope. <laughs> it's just basically it turning alter, people into like, superheroes. Yeah. It says altered blood flow rate, but it's like, does that mean less or more? Or I know, because you know what more blood flow means. That means bricked up. Hey, that kind of goes hand in hand with the altered penal function there. What the? Okay, here's penal. the one that gets concerning, though. <laughs> so, is that what that actually means? Penal function? This means like you can't get bricked up? Yeah. I just, yeah, or you get bricked up too hard. Or you get bricked up okay. so hard, you're just like it turns okay. blue. And you're I like, thought that. I think, think, think about what's was like here. a penalty. Altered, uh, altered was diameter of blood vessels, so they can shrink your shrink your blood vessels. They decrease your sperm count. They can give you fucking limp dick. And they can decrease your blood flow rate overall, and then alterations in biocurrents of the cerebral cortex, so they can literally make you think that you're gay. <laughs> And then they flip this, <laughs> then they flip the other like, switch and then they make you get hornier. <laughs> you know, so you just change the settings and then it just like all your capillaries open up and you're like, "Oh, it's a party again," you know? You feel me? It's like so that's like the new highs. You like sh- like turn it to make it like all like contract and like skinny boy and you're like, "Oh god, it's so cold in here." And then you fucking and then you turn it the other way and then like you turn the music back up and then you hit the drop. <laughs> I don't want to say it again cuz I don't want to ruin it. But then the drop comes back around. And and you definitely you, get do, you definitely you get hornier, yeah. Hey, they know what they're doing. It's been put to good use. All right, so but alteration in viral currents in the cerebral cortex. They yeah. could just make you have straight fucking cerebral palsy, bro. Yeah, <laughs> like you just like that's fucking bad. That. Yep. Uh, we'll we'll get there. There's whew, there's two more pages of these, I think. Electrocardiographic <laughs> exchanges. What does that mean? Oh, electrocardiographic like, changes. So essentially, uh, <laughs> ghosts. The, the electrical current that runs through your heart and, yeah. and drives your cardi- Let, like, uh, cardio yeah. system. Yeah, if you get your heart like checked out at the doctor or whatever, yeah. it's an EKG. Essentially, machine. so they can stop your heart. 
Oh shit! Oh yeah, yeah, because they got the heart attack gun on lock. There, everybody, everybody yeah. knows about this the heart all, attack. That's gun. all connected. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is the fifties version too, by the yeah. way, bro. This ain't the fucking new and improved fucking the right. Cuban set. This is what the Cubans have right here. They have yeah. the old school one. Uh, anyways, hemorrhaging in lungs, liver, gut, and brain, and then death. Yeah, sounds like a fucking hell of a way to fucking go out, bro. Just Wait. go out raving. Yeah. We're missing a numbers here. Is that yes, like- there's some of these that I found less interesting and omitted. Oh, okay. Um, because the list was extremely long oh, okay, already, gotcha, and gotcha. it's we're still not done. <laughs> what, are you, what are you leaving out, Bobby? Um, I didn't. I didn't fact check this wow, one. They gotta uh, call what him, are you leaving out they on? They call huh? him Bobby the Bias, bro. <laughs> I, I see. Uh, yeah, bias, we'll, we'll have Bobby. the Maybe documents you're... linked so you can check it out for yourself. Um, this one's actually not too long. So I think Bobby's in on this, dude. I am on it. Uh, <laughs> I am in on. <laughs> Wait, in fact, it... I, I, I neglected to tell you that this entire uh, episode was just a fucking hamster wheel experiment to see if we would be attacked with directed energy weapons <laughs> while recording an episode exposing and directed <laughs> energy weapons. And I'm just like, I feel fine, guys. I feel great. I, oops. <laughs> yeah that would put mm, at least that would be right i mean <laughs> that would be crazy this, like out of anything we've done that probably would go pretty viral what getting head yeah exploded. If, your, if your head exploded and we would put it on live leak uh, yeah yeah honestly. i'll just blur it out and put it on youtube they'll be like yeah. it's fake but like what happened bobby got mm. shot in the head last week sure. you, and look at him he's fine look, the zoods are fucking you guys don't think that we have metaphysical abilities the zoods are from another dimension dude, dude. i got hit by a car yeah you <laughs> got hit by a fucking car <laughs> i he, lived he got up he was just like down nah, 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 nah. dude Whoever was in the car, you know, because he looked all off, you know. Oh, shit. So what if someone blasted him <laughs> with the lasers? They're like, they're like, good. We're going to we're going to make him uh, hit this fool oh. before he before he, he tells the all, truth. He's all like, I didn't have a blood alcohol level of 0.010. <laughs> I, I got lasered. <laughs> all right. So let's see what let's see what other side effects there are. OK, let's see. Next next slide here. Central nervous system effects. Headaches, insomnia, restlessness, cranial nerve disorders, conditioned reflex disorders, seizures, and convulsions. Uh oh. Autonomic nervous system effects, neurovegetative disorders, Uh-oh. alteration of heart rhythm, fatigue, structural al- alterations in the synapses of the vagus nerve. Hey, yo. Stimulation of parasympathetic that, uh... nervous system. Is that. Is that the nerve? That's, yeah. Is that what that what the, the nerve? The vagus nerve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, now the, the vagus, vagus nerve. Is that the vagus? <laughs> the vagus nerve. I we we know a lot about science and where the clit is. <laughs> <laughs> Stimulation of parasympathetic nervous system, brachycardia, and inhibition of the sympathetic nervous system. The Tom Brady cardia. <laughs> Uh, and then one of the key points, as well as the peripheral nervous system effects, effects on locomotor nerves. Ele- so wait, so you can't like drive a train anymore? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You can't run a train. You'll never be a train operator in your God life. God damn it, Fuck. bro! This is totally antithetical to the fucking the EDM song. Okay, no more running trains. We're having seizures. Well, bro, this shit's giving me a limp dick right now. As All right, <laughs> I know. that's not it's not not doing it for my side trance album. So wait, bro. is it supposed to get people hornier, or is it supposed to make it so they? can't fuck or both. well i think the or po- maybe it's I think, to make them so horny but they can't fuck well i think that like they, molly I, look it, <laughs> it, you make them horny and then they're like silently screaming in their head as you use directed energy weapons to control the physical actions of their body as they just like fuck for the you know the pleasure of the fbi who are clearly watching from some mm. other form of radar directed energy weapon they're like that's hot yeah and then they're just jerking off in their fbi office Meanwhile, in there, they're on Molly, too. <laughs> <laughs> they're just, like, fucking blasting themselves with the cum button. Like. <laughs> I know, yeah. Th- no, yeah. So I think the point, I think this is the, uh, I think we went, the first page was the, all the fun side effects. This is the dark side. This the is, real ones. This is the side effects may include. Oh, oh here we my go. God. Psychological disorders, behavioral changes, blood disorders, vascular disorders, which... To me, that kind of sounds like the, the same, same thing. As blood disorder. Enzyme and other biochemical changes, Uh-oh. metabolic disorders, gastrointestinal t- nutritional disorders, endocrine <laughs> gland changes, histological changes, genetic and chromosomal changes. Whoa! Right there. Rapid onset. Uh, That's the reason you have Down yeah. syndrome. <laughs> Ooh. Pearl chain effect. <laughs> <laughs> you gave your bitch the pearl chain effect. You feel me? Oh, it's not like a butt plug. Um, no, it's where you go beep beep on her neck. Uh, oh, okay, the yeah, like the, the pearl necklace. Effect. Okay, yeah, I see yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, what the yeah, fuck yeah, is yeah. actually the pearl chain effect? <laughs> Intracellular orientation of subcellular particles and orientation of cellular and other non-biologic particles. What the fuck? 
does that mean? Also, orientation of animals, birds, and fish in electromagnetic fields. So, oh. you know how. I like, thought it was the sexual orientation of animals, birds, and fish. Because you know that ties like, in with Alex week, Jones. We were talking about how particle physics and quantum field theory essentially defines a bunch of different, like, spreadsheets about the properties of a particle, right? Like, mm-hmm. where their electron is, where, like, what's happening with the neutron and the proton, okay. all this shit, right? Like, I don't get it, but yeah. All of these things are represented in motion because of like electricity or like expressed as energy an electrical Mm -hmm. field if you will Mm -hmm. right so that's our entire bio like nervous system as well and if you can affect the orientation and the spin of things i think essentially you can cause like particle decay is is what i'm like reading from this i mean that's like what like half-life's all about and shit too it's radioactive decay like it just destroys your cells the it like destroys itself over time that already happened like the tom cruise war of the worlds uh you know how they have the fucking laser beams that just turn people into clouds of ash Mm, yeah like not maybe quite on that like level or time frame but i feel like it's it's something like to that extent they just give you cancer beams yeah or stuff like that they they can essentially like manipulate m- magnetic and electromagnetic fields and like the orientation the polarity of, of right. such fields. Yeah. So, okay, but I guess the whole crux of this is that they're saying they're like no, it's non-ionizing yep. radioact or radi- radiation yes. technology. So this is all the stuff that the comp- conspiracy theorists haven't even like really touched on because that everybody's talking about ionizing radiation essentially well isn't it kind of crazy how like like i like ionizing radiation is obviously most associated with like chernobyl and like nuclear plants and stuff but then also we demonize nuclear plants and say that they're like super dangerous and stuff they might blow up and it's like but it's like even though nuclear energy could like totally change the game you know and like we could could be living in the future and we could kind of help global warming and shit if we did nuclear energy but then it's also so it's also demonized you know but then they're also like oh but this isn't even radiation because it's non ionizing, but it's like this is still radiation and this still exists, but they're all like, no, there's only just mm. radiact, like there's only just nuclear radiation. You know, like they kind of put that in your head that way. They wouldn't like, point radiation at people to do nothing. Like they said, at the very well, least with the Moscow signal, at the very least, they were using it to like uh, intercept like conversations or eavesdropping. At the very yeah. least, it's for eavesdropping. So it's like, but if you could do eavesdropping with it, it's like, what can't you do with it? And clearly yeah. it's like, if they're paying people $100,000 or $200,000 $200, because of their side effects from this, it's like, Some it's got, so something's got, going on. So essentially, happened. you guys are familiar with the concept of cymatics, right? Where you can inject sound into a physical medium and see a response. People do it with these music oh, yeah. videos where they have a plate and they have a speaker cone attached to it yeah. and they sprinkle sand on it and they play different tones and it forms different geometric different, like, shapes. shapes yeah so this is the fundamental way that energy is expressed in like the 3d realm right how mm. we can have particles that move and motion it's all expressed as like yeah just energy right and all energy is ultimately conserved so they're just pushing waves around other waves and seeing like the response that happens up until they figure out how to do something and get a you know a desired response. Well, I mean, right. I mean like, it's like literally phase cancellation in music. Like they liter they literally manipulate the the phase point and like start and end points of a waveform's right. like cycle when they play sounds or direct energy at people. Yeah, man, right. it's it's uh it's kind of crazy too that because I mean you're talking about like how it's like yeah it's like particles and waves and how they like interact like you know when being set off and stuff and it's like that's what the motherfuckers like CERN are doing too on like the higher mm-hmm. level because they're doing it with like like nuclear fucking uh compounds you know like on the fucking like nuclear level like right. sub subatomic subatomic yeah, yeah. particles which yeah. is these fools are doing it with like you know like yeah like people to- <laughs> yeah people and shit <laughs> but like the same kind of thing where it's like it's all about like particle interaction and it's like yeah if you could fucking get you know radio waves those fucking right. those waves of particles are going to fucking yeah. interact with you because it's not all of it goes it, you know most of it just passes right through you so it has right. to be like a steady stream too to like really affect you because like you know i don't know it's like right. you can hear you know sound through a wall yeah. or like turn a radio on and it's like it doesn't matter if there's a wall here right. you can still well because like it like your average like sunlight or whatever or just like regular light is like usually like uv light or much mm. uh like a wider or a, a bigger wave, essentially. Yeah. That's like not like it's not going through you. It's just kind of like passing by. Yeah, it's like slowly. Yeah. But okay. then you get microwaves and like infrared, right? It's a shorter wavelength, so it kind of mm. fucks with you on a different level. Yeah, like there's a certain. Uh, oh, I thought I, I remember there's this thing about 
how uh, there's a certain like frequency, like low, like growling frequency that can like really fuck with people. It's not the brown note. It's a, it's like a different thing, but it's apparently it like it upsets you and it's like this really low like the noise of like like lower than like a V8 engine kind of growl like right. a, so the same as like if there's like a predatorial cat like about to fucking kill you mm -hmm. you you know you have a conditioned response just from evolution yeah. to like be alarmed by that or you hear it or something but it's like because it's that frequency i guess there's like a frequency that it's like a very uh like a low hertz frequency that can fuck with your eyes okay uh, because you're like you can reverberate like a wave around like in somebody's mm -hmm. eyes and it's like oh, like it fucks with their immense pressure yeah but it's like how eli was making a point earlier when he when he's like getting up in your face quote unquote right and <laughs> I didn't it's even like, say anything. It's, like That's, it's literally the same concept if you induce a response to something like binaural beats it's literally like you hear a thing it make you feel something yeah just like how sound can Music. convey like such intense amounts of information even though it's literally yeah. just a, a waveform right like it can convey emotion and intensity and all these things like that you couldn't necessarily quantify right but you can manipulate them and create desired responses because you can observe what happens like that's true i don't know bro i think christian is just racist to mexicans <laughs> a little bit a little bit <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <yeah. laughs> <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> like, I'm just kidding. But no, yeah, I feel like uh, you're totally you're totally right. Yeah, like for fucking sure. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. That's the way I like I think about it. everything is just a, a waveform. Like literally, the study of the entire universe is just us like being like waveforms reacting to waveforms. That's cool. Well, that's true. I mean, well, that's all that music really is. The fact that just a song, like like the frequencies in a song or the lyrics or the whatever, mm -hmm. like all these things can like move someone to tears or like get them yeah. fucking pumped up when they go to the gym or something like that. Just that, that's proof enough that there are frequencies that can affect you on such a, on a behavioral level. That's a directed so like, energy. That's like the most basic form of like humans manipulating the things around them to create frequencies that yep. bounce around and make people feel a certain way. Exactly. This is like a super high level version of doing it where you can't even necessarily hear it. But if someone's blasting you with those, yep. with those lasers, you're going to get horny. <laughs> or you're going to, I felt it approaching. <laughs> um, fuck. Uh, what get was I horny. <laughs> But but yeah, that's that's a good way of putting it. I think you know, just like, like they're playing us like a goddamn fiddle. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> These fucking waves. All right. What what uh? Okay, we got a little. We got bit. the war games, bro. We got young uh, young uh, basement dwellers going off, bro. <laughs> yeah. On the, some of the drones. The subterranean whites. The subterranean whites, bro. Yeah. So um, I don't know. He looks like somebody. It's hard to. It's hard to tell her. He's got big ass goggles on his face. Oh, that's not who I'm talking about. Oh, who are you talking about? <laughs> the newscaster. Oh, All right. Well, I see. Anyways. Lasers, microwaves, and sound beams. They don't sound like weapons, but the Air Force Research Laboratory has awarded the largest contract ever to a company yeah. to build a virtual Yo, what's with that chain, bro? Let's go. <laughs> she got the bling. <laughs> no, you're right. It's pretty excessive, actually. <laughs> Look, flexing on them. contract to construct a virtual simulation for the Air Force Research Laboratory. This yeah. will create simulated war games for the Department of Defense. We actually take these out and we play Some them in subterranean white right there. Oh, he looks like somebody. I looks like fucking Fred Armisen. Looks like fucking... Hey, we, okay, we gotta pause if we're gonna roast them. <laughs> Go back. Who does he look like? <laughs> I'm trying to pin it down. Oh, Steven Seagal. Ah, dude, he looks like Fred Armisen mixed with Steven Seagal. Yeah, <laughs> bro, the, the haircut. Just... Uh, it does look like it's all pulled back, sort of. But yeah, not quite. no, definitely. I, I He's see just it. got the fucking. It looks like he uses a direct energy weapon to do his hair um, and his fucking skincare, bro. <laughs> Jesus. Some, I can't. I can't lie. He's got, man. he's got clearer skin than me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what these smart people are up to. These oh, smarty pants. Oh, let me let me uh, let me get the mouse back off the screen there. So we involve war fighters, and then we bring these concepts to them. Oh, war and They determine how they would use them in again that notional combat situation. The concept allows war fighters to sit in a simulated cockpit with virtual goggles on and fly an F-15. And this will allow them to get familiarity with these concepts, 
as well as mm, I love how uh, high res these pictures are. Out how <laughs> Not that one. Them, uh, help develop their <laughs> of course, of the Asian dude gets a low res picture. Wait, <laughs> fucking low haters. Can't actually hear what the uh, fuck they're talking about. <laughs> find out where we are still missing uh, capabilities. All the weapons in the simulation will be directed energy weapons. Those are devices that use sound beams to microwaves. Ghostbusters shit. They say this will provide AFRL with important tools needed to serve war fighters. It will yeah. also allow tests to bring these weapons into the real world. There's a lot of stuff that we still need to continue to do, but um, just, you know, excited that this contract was finally awarded and we're ready to just press forward with our services and uh, make make it good for our warfighters. Blue Halo, which has oh, an office. Man. The way he looked over to her just now, he's just like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Please shut the fuck up. You gotta endure some. I'm sorry. In Albuquerque, we'll have a decade to create this virtual world. Marilyn Upchurch, KRQE News 13. Okay. They're it like, can be very yeah, expensive. it's a virtual range. Perfect. The so, freaking yeah. chain, bro. Yeah, she, okay. Let's She's go. definitely balling with that chain, though. <laughs> Dude, that's what I'm saying. Man. <laughs> but I, I think this just illustrates the point, like, pretty well that the government is doing this. They're very interested. And if for anything, it's, you know, like, a national security concern because clearly it's an invisible arms race like well right. they're like saying too they're like they uh, there's probably not any espionage from russia or north korea or china but here's how you get in a dog fight and avoid one if you're flying a drone right. or a plane you know it might get a little real for a second if your system starts failing or if you start it's feeling probably a, not feel a little migraine through your headset but you know you'll probably be fine but here's what you do <laughs> <laughs> and then when they get out there, there's just like the fucking full plasma ray version blapping on them. They're like, do it, do what you did on the video game. And it's like, right. it's fucking gets annihilated. Oh, they sacrifice these poor subterranean whites yeah. to the China and Russia, you know? And <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, no, none of these direct energy weapons can affect me. Why? Because I have blue blocking glasses. <laughs> I, wish we had those. I wish we had a sponsor for that right now. Fuck. Um, yeah, I, I did um, have a tiny point just about how I think... If you consider shit like this evil, and especially to the scale that some of it exists, right, where people consider, like, mass surveillance on the United States is already happening, was to stop them from implementing, like, directed energy weapons as a means of, you know, controlling the public or manipulating the public. Mm. And I think it, you know, this, like, illustrates the idea that human curiosity is going to outweigh human good pretty much every time. And that, like, the root of all evil fundamentally stems from human curiosity. Like, mm. every time they're just like, what if I fucking poke this shit with a stick? And, uh, you know, it turns out later everybody agrees that was a pretty bad fucking idea. Well, but couldn't leave it's, it alone. It's yeah. like, um, I don't know. I mean, it's like, you know, we had, like, an argument a long time ago about it. it's all like, oh, science can't be, can't be inherently, like, wrong or bad. And it's all like, no, you're fucking very wrong because science can always, science is like a constant, like, hey, what happens if we do this? And it's just like, you know, let's see what happens if you do this. And it's just like, mm -hmm. that's all it is. It's like, you can come back later and prove it wrong, but motherfuckers are always trying to prove something in the moment. And they usually do some pretty bad things things to do so like Wait, it's not wrong as in yeah. incorrect or wrong as in immoral 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 like i'd say they do they 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 try to well, well both sometimes yeah. sometimes they do they do wrong like immoral things to make a point and then it, that point isn't even proven right because somebody has to disprove that point right. later well because you know because they right. it's just like it was just wrong like you know the ethics of it like i'm sure they were probably just blasting people just unaware and they're like mm, interesting yeah. or they interesting. tell them it's over something they're like you're gonna listen to an album today you know like and then it's like like yeah, they literally right. get like college students or something and mm -hmm. like participate in this research study you know we'll give you some extra cash and maybe drugs okay i don't know if i already mentioned this on a cast i think it was just when we had a conversation the other day mm -hmm. but it was there was that episode of rogan like a few weeks ago with uh i think it's jeremy corbell i think is his name the ufo yeah, yeah, guy yeah. i watched a bit of that yeah mm -hmm. and he was talking about how a lot of the pilots that uh, have encounters, like weird encounters, close encounters type things like that, like, mm -hmm. you know, pilots or other government personnel, the symptoms that they have after seeing a UFO or something like that are all very similar symptoms to the symptoms that we were talking about that are known from directed energy or yeah, yeah directed energy weapons. So it's like, where do we get the technology from that? Did we just come up with it? Or did we find that shit off of one, you know, off of like a downed uh, UFO? Is that where like 
is that is that where we're getting this technology? I definitely from? Think I don't think over- so. I think there's overlap there, but um, I think that UFOs, like flying saucers, aren't even like from like another planet like the way there's like the way like the whole lore goes is basically like those like got the schematics from it like from like a telepathic chick and then like nazi germans were able to build them and then america stole the design and was testing like the hypothetical craft but it's just the blueprints like it's not like actually like we made like it got made here you feel right. me? like it got made on earth but it's not like from another planet but the right. schematics are that's how like some of the or some I of the schizo lore of it goes but there's definitely a tie-in there because it's like they probably use some of the same technology to like right. fucking i guess you know, if there was a super advanced alien race that that was flying around in crazy spacecraft. If we dumbass human beings are at the point where like the smartest of us can figure out how to make DEWs, then for sure aliens also have that technology. We yeah, could, big time. I guess yeah. I don't know if we like got it from the aliens or yeah, figured no, out from I know, the aliens. No, that's you what I'm saying. I mean? There's definitely like, yeah. overlap there because like my thought kind of goes in the reverse direction though. Like, I don't think aliens have any reason to, like, suppress people or shoot them with directed energy weapons other than the case of, like, nuclear sites, essentially, where that has been observed several times. I think what happens is these pilots go out and they see shit that, you know, they're not supposed to talk about. And then from then on, they become monitored and targeted by the U.S. government. Oh, yeah. That's the like, other angle. They're getting the Dewey shot national security there. threat. Yeah. And then they're like, yeah, yeah, I guess those aliens must have blasted you with something. But really, they know... Yeah. It was, it was, it was their a, own, yeah. be your own peeps. It's like how the bank essentially irradiates money so that they can track it in the event of a bank robbery. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wait, what? Paper bills are lightly irradiated uh, with like a specific uh, like ionization so that wow. they can be tracked. Yeah. I did not know this. Yeah, it's crazy. crazy. Yeah. That's <laughs> wild. But, um, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty Shit. wild stuff. Directed energy weapon. Okay, the last one we got is the most mind blowing thing, and we might get um we might get this part removed for copyright infringement or whatever. We're gonna fight him to the goddamn death. But all right, if just pause a lot. If you uh, <laughs> if you're not seeing another video after this, just check the links in the description. I'll make sure to include a link to the and, original and, video. And if you don't, if this is the end of the episode, remember to get hornier. <laughs> yeah, always, get, hornier get hornier and hornier. smash that <laughs> like button and smash that subscribe button. Yes, indeed. We should do it. Uh, let's, do, let's bring it around town for the finale here. The mind blowing finale. Let's All right. do this. America's Book of Secrets: oh, DARPA's yeah. secret mind controlled technology. All right. Remember, we gotta press pause every ten seconds. Laser. <laughs> Oh. Microwave. That is the last video. What happened? What happened? It's bugging. Hey, why that shit bugging? Laser. Laser. All right. Let's see. Time to bring out the mouse. Click oh yeah. Here we go. March sixteenth, two thousand eighteen. All right. Whoa. The U.S. government's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, the DARPA chief, commonly yeah, known as yeah. DARPA announces a bold initiative Sharp. to develop what they call next generation non-surgical neurotechnology. All right, hold on, hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just starting it off. With we, should, uh, we should just put this on like 1.25 speed. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know um, what I mean? It's a good idea. Counteract. Let's, uh, let's go. I think I can compress. Uh, just the, and, just, just scroll or setting. just mouse over to it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I, ha- I have a plug-in, a Chrome extension for this. It's just on a hotkey. But... Um, Playback speed. There we go. You didn't get the the Alvin and the Chipmunks version, go. bro. All right, should be good. Okay. Oh. It is designed to allow the it. human brain to directly interface with machines. Bro, it looks just like the Dream Machine too. We know that DARPA is exploring yeah human machine interfaces that include direct connections between the brain and outside systems. That's been from the beginning of DARPA's information technology Sheet. mission, and it continues to this day. They're DARPA added, has created bro, they trying to make some the most influential in there, technologies they of all time, could things we use to. and take for granted every They're, day, uh, yeah. <laughs> including the project that became the internet. They've created self-driving cars, stealth technology. So basically, GPS that fits in your pocket. Bas- DARPA's basically, DARPA is at the forefront. To imagine of the future and all good it. things that come mm. to the tech world. In a new technology America. that is well, actually that's why they're fucking in Metal Gear Solid. You feel me? Like, like the fucking center the point of fucking. Some... Yeah, yeah, that's true. Like, wait, because okay, what are you saying? GPS, cell phones, like yeah, the, the internet, internet yeah. a lot of this Still stuff. Driving cars was yeah. kind of like like taken s- off the ground at least by DARPA. 
Yeah, that so is like, the weird history of the internet too. We should get into that too. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. down, bro. There's yeah. Do you know the biggest like the internet almost got like destroyed by like a computer virus that somebody made like a local virus that he That's sent crazy. out. Yeah, like in its early days before it was the World Wide Web, like it almost got destroyed because it was only like on like of uh, like thirty or so servers. You know, the internet's so, like the biggest inside job in history. Then it's crazy, big time. Like especially if it's being used for mass surveillance on on people. That's like. That's like six billion out of seven billion people in the world are like connected to the internet. Shit. Essentially, like it's fucking at least on some some level. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy, crazy dude. shit. Anyway, let's what's see. this? What's let's, this? Let's keep it rolling. Oh, bro, he is so looks like the fucking private investigator from that one episode of Nathan for you. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> like fucking Brian Wolf is we could have a sensor maybe on the surface of our of our head or maybe implanted somewhere in our body in our brain or or something that allows us to interact directly oh, with our communications no. gear, our processing Neuralink. gear, our weapon systems, yeah, and so on. In. Yeah. Now imagine oh. we take that technology and we can control robots at a distance with it. Even fly drones. You put what the sensor the fuck, on and you bro? think the right this way old news and you can too, like, increase the speed of the fan by thinking and controlling that Air thought been doing with that. direct mind or mind machine interfacing. With that type of capability, you could control all sorts of buttons and, and mechanisms in equipment. Yeah. Mind so machine yeah. Interfaces oh, that's right, because they're, yeah, for the prosthetics. Civilian yep. and, military life. and that's but how they get you. Wait, pause for a second. This, <laughs> this is how they get you, because they're like, look, we're going to use it to help an old man drink a glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> but can they help that old man get horny? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. I don't think. I think he's beyond the pale there. <laughs> That's a compilation. Technology uh, <laughs> could also be used by yeah. DARPA as a new form of mind control. Oh, I got that exposed brain like clip. Damn, they put it right on there, bro. Yep. DARPA-funded researchers have spent decades investigating how the human mind can be altered. In 1965, Pandora. DARPA launched Project Pandora, which uh -oh. studied the possibility of using microwave radiation to control human behavior. Ooh. The project reported the history ended channel in 1969. Has to be true. But DARPA's investigation. I know, I'm loving the presentation on here. Dude, they got a style. The yeah. It's the history Continue channel. Like they've got like a little bit of a campy style. Wait, hold on, hold on. Go back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Fuck. Let's run it back. You know they got the aesthetic down though, bro. For all their shit, bro. Yeah, hold on. To control human behavior. The project reportedly ended in 1969, but DARPA's investigation of how machines can affect and possibly control the brain continues to this day. There are explicit programs of DARPA to read and write to human brains, whether it's through direct implants within the brain or wearing some kind of cap. So these things are being worked on, and we know that. No, <laughs> no, magnetism, bro. Hold on, magnetism. We can send instructions and information to an actual person from a distance with this kind of technology. Dude, their VFX, okay, wait, 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 wait. their VFX team goes right, so yeah. hard, bro. Yeah, this is on. I mean, it's on 1.25 speed, too, oh, God, so it's so like extra, extra fucking. It's, it's blasting ADD. by here. No, right, but look up, look at the magnetism, <laughs> mag, mag stim, oh, mag stim. So it's nice. going to stimulate you with magnets to make you get horny. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Is the goal to make people more or less horny? Always, you can do either. More. That's the point. Right, That's the yeah. power of this. So if they can give you cancer, they can probably cure cancer with this shit, too. Oh, easily. Oh, yeah. Probably, yeah. Because, I mean, that's a set. I mean, that's not so fucking this chemotherapy. This is what I've been saying right. for you years, know, like, man. Uh, radiation, they blast it. Low-level cymatics, wave, waveform phase cancellation, that's all you need. To destroy the fundamental resonance of an object, you shoot a directed energy weapon at it that is the same fundamental resonance, and you just invert the waveform, and you phase cancel that shit out of existence, bro. That's fucking wild, crazy. Dude. I mean, they, I, know yeah. they, I know they could do it, bro. They probably got shrink rays and shit, bro. Shrink rays and grow rays. Hey. <laughs> I think the problem that people find is the level of fucking accuracy. And that it's just, it's not, yeah. you know, it doesn't make money to, you know, yeah, cure, cure cancer, people, so... You know. True. But, but listen to this. This is this is where it gets a little funky. So what's the next step? Maybe the next step is we can send instructions and information to an actual person uh, from a distance with this kind of technology to let another person control their actions. But oh that could be God. something that could be malicious. If there's some way to do it from a distance, a much greater distance than something that you can wear on your scalp, that would be the ultimate technological achievement that mm, would, would fall into this realm of mind control and direct human machine interface that DARPA may well want to keep secret. Yeah. In the near future, DARPA may possess the technology to remotely control the human mind. But as concerning as that may be, 
According to some scientists, a more permanent kind of mind control technology is looming. And it involves modifying the human brain by altering the human body's DNA. Okay, the pause. Future. Get that RNA, okay. bro. That, 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 that mRNA young, yeah, that, that was huh. just invented. That is literally the first uh, vaccine that was uh, widely uh, injected into almost, you know, every fanatic on fucking earth. And suddenly it's just altering your DNA. We're going we're gonna to find out for a second why this is fucking spooky it's as shit. Oh, I see. It into the, the future code. being right now, because uh, these experiments are being done, is using gene editing tools. And one of them is, would be CRISPR. The way it works is take the CRISPR, which are these short alternating repeats of DNA. You put that together with an enzyme called Cas. And so you take the CRISPR that you want to use, and you put these pieces together that can be injected and insert this DNA to certain areas of the brain so that we can change brain cells and turn you into something you wouldn't otherwise be. So in this way, gene editing <laughs> technologies like CRISPR really form a definite basis for future mind control. These are things that DARPA has investigated. Every technology has the potential for good or evil and who defines what's good and what's evil and who uses it for what purpose. These are all questions that have been asked about everything from rockets to self-driving vehicles. We still don't have a good handle on the ethics of various technologies that we use. The technologists <laughs> tend not to be so concerned with the ethics. That seems to be yeah. the domain of other people. Policy makers, no, why is for example. Base? Is this on TV? Like, like this. There needs to be yeah. A hand in hand interaction with people creating technology and, and I just gotta say it's reasons like this that people don't take the history channel seriously anymore. It's it's straight up like counterintelligence shit because the history channel has been doing what they've always been doing, just talking about shit that pretty much happened, except in, you know, like, you know, there's some the, the Bigfoot shows, but Right. There's right. there's who owns the history channel? That was an entry question. Because I was gonna say like yeah. they definitely like I, I don't uh, know. They've definitely, like, they lean full swing. Like, you see how they make it so, like, mm -hmm. corny and stuff, too, yeah. you know? They make it seem so sensationalized, but, like, they are just covering it. It's still just out there. I, I don't know, because, I mean, once upon a time, bro, like, 60 Minutes would do, like, a, a thing on this, Disney. you know? Like, once upon... Oh, Disney? Mm. Oh, shit. A&E, which is owned by Disney. Shit. Okay, so... It's I, an interesting development. I think, in that case, you know, it's one of those things where they just say this shit because they know people typically don't have enough, like cross uh you know cross domain knowledge to be able to put two and two together and like actually fully understand what the implications of what they're being told is like if your right. dna can be manipulated to change your brain like chemistry or like the responses that your brain has to you know certain sympathetic resonances or something you can make it more or less easy to manipulate their entire like their entire state of existence mm, yeah definitely permanently yeah. Like, like really fuck with someone's just whole like thought processing yeah. or just yeah i mean yeah. yeah i mean this is one of the things that like the lrad which we mentioned earlier mm -hmm. is good for is they used it in civilian like protests essentially to dispel oh protests. that's right yeah. i think i remember hearing uh, about that yeah, yeah. no because where was it because there was another uh someone else did that too they were using it in protests yeah it's like the their new like um is it was it in the UK or something? Because they're, they're oh, like, I did hear something so. about that. Because they're recently, like, there's yeah. no, they're like, we're not going to use guns, we're not going to use tear gas. This is our new riot weapon, mm. and uh, wow. it's like, yeah, it's just like a fucking, it just totally fucks you. It's just like a microwave, and everybody's like, ah, fuck, like it just wow. like hurts, you. it makes your skin burn, and it gives you a yeah. migraine. I'm pretty sure, it's like, like having like level ten mm. anxiety just on lock, like on like, the spot. Yeah, they're like get out of here, go. Like the and switch like, has been flipping. That's yeah. fucking wild. I, we need, we should have. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to that at some point but yeah i'm pretty sure that they, they used that during like the summer 11 stuff uh like in like the uk and stuff because they were even more ham with the lo the covid lockdowns than over here you know so yeah yep Shit. crazy stuff man it is crazy times that we live in um i think the point that i want to make with all this is people are a little less fucking crazy than they seem sometimes and you never know what the fucking government is doing in this fucking very true this basically a giant experimental test bed for weapons and technologies and different psychological fucking manipulative manipulative experiments shit like that i think yeah. i think america is where uh where society is either like a mate or broke <laughs> essentially well i mean i think america is definitely where like like i think that i mean i hate to it's it i mean 
a lot of the European countries are still like this too, but we're definitely still one of like a big like imperialist country where like we enjoy the benefits of living in like a like from a under a government that is like super like domineering yeah. and super kind of unethical, but they bring us cool shit, you know, because of it. And we you know, we live this comfortable it's pros and cons. life. <laughs> Pro, no, it's like a comfortable <laughs> life, but then it allows you to kind of get into be like more conscious and be like, oh man, it's fucking fucked up, you know, like because uh, you get to see how it all connects because we're not under such a domineering, you know, where they're like, no, you don't get to know about that. No, you don't get to fucking talk about energy directed weapons. No, you don't get to. Right. So it creates this crazy climate where it's like. Yeah, you could be like super like fucking, you know, blind to it and be like, I'm just grateful to live in this beautiful mm. country or whatever. But also it's like, you know, this country's fucking wild. And it's like, yes, I do like to live here because there's a lot of freedom, but also they're trying to subvert that freedom and subvert that liberty, you know, in well, tons of different ways. Smart, you know? Go ahead. I was going to say, I think in a way it's like being overwhelmed with information that we that we like experience on a day to day basis. If you're mm -hmm. just overwhelmed with so much freedom, you can't even conceive of some of the things that you could literally just go do in like the next 15 minutes like True. that you have the freedom to do. So I think people easily get away with like these black budget, you know, research operations and mm -hmm. things and things of this nature because people just don't fucking care. They're they're more occupied with whatever freedom they can fucking think of. Well, that's what's like, brilliant. I mean, that's why everybody, you know, uses like the played out matrix kind of trope or idea, but that's I mean, think about it. If you were some kind of tyrannical government evil scientist type motherfucker back yeah. in the day and you want to find out the secrets you know of life and find out all this stuff you need test subjects yeah. and to do that a lot of the time it would be like hey taking people you know trying to try to fucking i mean yeah it is what happened in fucking especially in world war ii and shit it's like they had to literally round people up they're like oh let's do all these weird experiments on conjoined twins or do experiments yep. on this that and the other but the way they had to do that was extremely like in your face, unethical, immorally wrong, you know, where it's yeah. like you have to drag people kicking and screaming into some like physical place where you can fuck with them and, and try. But now we, we have all this data from the internet. The, in, the internet and all these other things are just data collection services, which just makes us all part of essentially just a giant science experiment. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where there's just like, hmm, interesting. Like, you know, they could just test certain different stimuli on you at different points. And I'm not saying it's like a grand overarching conspiracy type of thing, but it's like it's it's yeah. things that get they set have in a motion. Lot, like they have a lot of data on people, and they could just be like, "What happens if we just blast people a little bit with some rays and just see what happens?" You know, it's like see how it changes. where it's like it barely changes, but you and you don't even notice it. You know, and it's like, but that's what's almost more fucked up about it. Where it's like it's not like you're being taken into. It's not more fucked up, but it's fucked up in a different way. It's like you're not being taken into some chamber where they fucking cut you open and like yeah. you see how your spleen works or whatever. It's like you're you're just like constantly being tested, <laughs> like, like tested and like well, violated in some way that it, you it, can't even perceive. That's what's like extra. It, it's like, like sinister about it. You can't even fathom. You're like. Are they doing this to me right now? Are, they, like, are they blasting like, me right like, now it's like, with the rays? It's, it's like could, psychological. It could be coming from your cell phone. Like yeah, even if right. you don't have 5G, specifically the 2.4 to 4 gigahertz range, that's not 5G yet. But well, it's the like, fact that we have 5G just makes it all the more concerning because of the level of right. in, intensity and energy that you could put behind some of these. Yeah, I've had a 5 gigahertz router coverage, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like it's crazy. When 5G was rolled out, they the U.S. government specifically opted to not go through any sort of regulatory, like, you know, strictures. And they mm. their, their justification for this was, well, we could, you know, spend the next 20 years regulating and testing this, but what we want to do is get it into the hands of, of the innovators and the tech developers and, and see what they can do with that technology. And, uh, you know... roll Yeah, roll out this potentially dangerous thing and just uh, wait until it becomes permanently ingrained into everyone's daily life yeah. and you can't get rid of it. So yeah, it's pretty much. Ranch, and here's, here's I was like... Say, it's like psychological economics, too. I was kind of, like, saying, too. I yeah. feel like they could, like, influence the way people, like, start to think and shit and yeah. then get the... They get that to infect the economy and right. shit, too. Because, like... I mean, and again, whether it's, like, you know, actually going out and blasting... I feel like the, more, like, the direct assaults of stuff would happen towards like yeah like political espionage type shit or like drones or like fucking yeah black ops type stuff but i also feel like uh i forgot where i was going with that <laughs> but yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's psychological economics though too if they could start to do this kind of stuff like on a big scale 
and just get people to start slightly thinking differently about stuff. Then you get right. people to like lean into more ID, be like, oh, well, I'm more okay with Neuralink. I'm more okay right. with Metaverse. I'm more okay with, uh, you know, self driving Tesla cars. Yeah. Like, you know, like, and then, but, it, you know, I don't know. I think there's even an argument to be made as to why using this kind of technology against the public could be a good thing or for the greater good. And that we have so many people and it's incredibly difficult to like manage all the different like personalities and different sort of ideals that people have. And you need some sort of mediating force to keep things in line so that nothing gets out of control. I feel like at least that's an argument as to why you would need to like manipulate people in this way or keep so, them complacent like a to some degree. over here. No, well, no, I mean, I but that is, saying, that is the devil's advocate, but that yeah, is like their like, argument. Yeah, no, that's like their argument, like, like how they can yeah. justify this kind of thing. Like, we got to keep this kind of stuff under wraps so people don't find out. And then we can also yeah. use this technology to subtly influence people from becoming too extreme. Bro, or what too if they I feel like the ever. most evil things that happened throughout history were initially rationalized as for the greater good right. of something. Uh, almost everything yeah. is. Pretty yeah. much everything is. Yeah. Yeah. Hear me out, though. All right. It's January 6, 2021. And okay. fucking everybody's out there peacefully protesting. And then someone, I'm not saying they're a Democrat, I'm just saying, or part of the CIA or FBI, I'm just saying someone okay. is across the way in the building <laughs> by AOC's office. You know, that's like way all the way across the way. And he's got a ray gun, right? And you know what he cranks that shit up to? You know what setting he puts it on? Puts it on the setting and says, Get hornier, <laughs> and fucking, but they're all conservatives, so they're all like, "Fuck, I don't know what to do right now." God damn it, I'm so hopped up. Yeah, they're like, God damn it. And then wasn't a lot of chicks that, around. Either. Yeah, it wasn't a lot of <laughs> chicks around either. The dick to chick ratio was all fucked up, yeah. and uh, so you know they're like. I'm coming for you, Pelosi. <laughs> I got loving in my I got, I got loving in my loins, and we're taking this country back. <laughs> I'm shitting on your desk. <laughs> I'm dropping a hot, spicy log. Oh, That's true. God. I don't think you really needed that much of a influence on. On some of those yeah, people so you to, just uh, needed go to in. You, but that's what I'm saying. They all they did was blast one wave of get hornier, and it all hell right. broke loose. You know, well, it is a per it is like a perfect <laughs> human nature. The, the yeah. energy weapons are like a perfect thing because if you like mm -hmm. just shoot someone or like just kill someone, yeah, it's it's very easy. I mean, I guess they still never figured out with fucking JFK and all that shit. But like you know, yeah, it's like. There's way more of a direct path to figuring out. It's like who's responsible for this, like shooting, bombing, blah blah well, blah. Well, exactly why JFK is still like a, such a like like you can't like fake it. You know, it's like yo, he got his head blew off. Who did it? Right. And they're like, I don't know. And it's just like fucking. But it's like if he right. got like microwaved and his head blew mm -hmm. off, they'd be like, what the fuck? They'd be like, yeah. spontaneous head combustion is. Yeah, it's like oh, wouldn't it be sad if like this person, you know, someone got cancer or whatever, and then it's like oh, they can't go on that speaking tour that they're mm -hmm. gonna go on. Exactly. And it's like, but it's just such a plausible deniability where it's like you could just make it look like totally like natural causes you know yep. it's yeah. crazy yeah and i think there's a reason that kind of stuff wasn't used in a lot of these cases like jfk especially too and i mean people want to make a martyr out of somebody or make a like a point out of somebody and that's the point where you literally just shoot them in the fucking head instead <laughs> of like you know torturing them for 20 years and then they yeah, develop in minecraft you know, in minecraft <laughs> and then they develop like a radiation poisoning and start growing like tumors out of their you know ears and shit like that right you just there's there's different use cases for these different kinds of weapons isn't yeah it? man yeah i'm sure if it could be used for for evil it can be used for good but like damn we could be we could be um making people get hornier and I don't think they need not, to get any hornier. To I don't. Be honest. I think they I think, already did put that yeah, fucking yeah. setting on. Honestly, I think that setting's been on for the past fifteen years. The get hornier <laughs> setting. Everybody needs to just fucking do the ice bucket challenge. Remember that one, bro? Just psh, everybody. Yeah, that's how you counteract the direct energy weapons. Is you just do the ice bucket challenge. Whenever you hear that voice in the back of your head saying "get hornier," <laughs> you just gotta go take an ice bath and chill the fuck out. And remember, like Joe Rogan. the government can never take your freedom because this is america you know <laughs> hell yeah i think i think that's a good note that's to a end good note on. to end on boys very patriotic indeed all right well let us know what your personal schizo lore is on uh directed energy weapons have you been affected have you or a loved one been affected by directed energy weapons let us know in the comments you call, may be entitled to compensation. Yeah. Call 1-900-Z-U-D-C-A-S. <laughs> T. <laughs> yeah. That's one I wish we had a real cast. number. Yeah. Dude, that'd be so fired at one eight hundred Zoocast. We should we should cop it at some point. We could, I feel like we could. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we could.
And of course, if this but, uh, this episode made you get hornier, um, <laughs> drop a comment and go to the Patreon link and yeah. give us money. You'll see my tasteful <laughs> nudes there. Yeah, at, yes, like the cheap at Blue Chew. Are. <laughs> All right, y'all. This has been another episode of the Zoo File. Zoo Files. Spin on me. Bye.